Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gatlin, the Great American Broadcast Network. Eastern Daylight Time and uh, over it's the, oh, Friday. Uh, it's Friday. And there she is, da, ladies da, da, and gentlemen. Da, da, the da, little, da, da, the da. little woman. The little woman is here. Remember when they used to say that? When yeah. they used to call you like the little woman who's in the kitchen. That was the. Uh, that was the. The little woman who's in the kitchen. Yeah, a little woman in the kitchen uh, and uh, making up the vittles. Making I'm, up the vittles. I'm watching Damien. Yeah, I do most of the cooking. It goes so the, fast. I do most cooking in the house now. No, you don't. Yes, I cook I do. on weekends. No, you don't. I do When's too. The, what's the last thing you cooked? Pasta last week. Huh? Pasta. Pasta? Wait a minute. Sausage wait a minute. and meatballs. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. You went out. Wait a minute. Sausage and meatballs. She made sausage and meatballs. Here's how she makes sausage and meatballs. The week before I She made... buys the meatballs at Fairway and the sausage at Fairway and then the sauce is from Fairway. Oh, let's talk about your hamburger. Well, you buy it already prepared. You put some sauce on it, yeah. and there it goes. Okay, but how about my ribs I made this week? That's fine. Well, how about this the shrimp that the uh, uh, yeah, fried uh, diablo they, they, that they, I made the week before? I can't even see you. I don't move care. Your, move the hat. You have to move the hat up a little bit. I don't oh. want to move the hat up. Well, then then Sorry. then look at them a little bit. Every Hi. Now and then. Yeah. See. Yeah. I'm wearing a dusty old hat. Yeah. It's uh, hard for me to be nasty with you. Why? Because I'm on this drug. It makes me really amiable. Well, it's about time. Yeah, I mean, haven't I be, been a delight to get along with lately? Yeah, if we have to go over the last 15 years. Wait wait a minute. <laughs> 15. It hasn't been 15 years. Has it been 15 2004. years? 2004. That's not 15 years. What is it? It's 14 years. <laughs> We're on our way. We're in our 15th the, the year. 14th year. 14th year. Hmm. Well, you know, I got to tell you, uh, how, how do you, how you, you, you just sit here all day and you watch the news. This is my day off. No, but you sit here and watch the news. That's all after day long. three hours in the gym. So fuck you, buddy. Well, wait a minute. Wait, the gym isn't working. The gym is recreation. That's not recreation. It's working. No, but it's recreation. It's, it's not like you're going to a job at the gym. It's a job for my physical well-being. Y yeah? Yeah. And how's that going for you? Good. <laughs> I, was talking, I was talking to my physical therapist today. We were talking about, about you know, your, your body kind of breaking down. He said that he was uh, very big into sports, and as he's gotten older, he can't do it anymore because... He's had one thing or another go wrong. He had something in his back, and he had to have a rod put in there. Oh, God. You know, and I said, yeah, you know, all you people who do all this exercising seem to have all these physical problems that I've never had to face. You can't even walk straight up. What do you mean I you can't walk, walk straight up? You walk bent over like an old Jewish I'm man. I'm walking very straight up you lately. You are not. Yes, I I'll am. I'll take a picture. Huh? Oh, boy. Another one of those pictures you can show to friends. That's right. She has this picture of me when I weighed... The before uh, picture. When I weighed 800 pounds. Yeah, it's the before picture. Blow it up into a well, two-by-four and hung it on the refrigerator. I, I, don't, I don't think I was actually that fat. I think it was the light. Give me a fucking break. Oh, my God, it was the lighting. Or why don't you use the old excuse why you always look 10 pounds heavier in a photograph? Well, you know, when you get a chance, take the photograph from uh, uh, from there, uh, from uh, uh, and and put it on your desktop so I can move it over to here, and then I'll put it on the air next week. You promise? Oh, sure, I'm happy to. I'll look how skinny I am now. I could do it right now. Uh, no, you, no, it would. I would have to do all the moving over and everything. Okay, like next week, folks, check in. Yeah, his before picture. Yeah. But I mean, I, mean, I don't yeah, look. I'm very proud of you. It's very you good know, that you I, did it. And I did it for I yourself. Have, for the most part, I've kept it off. I don't. I, yeah. you know, a lot of people. You're went, fine. Just stop it, talking it, about no, it all the in time. In fact, I was talking again to the physical therapist about it, and I said, 
You know, I, I sometimes beat myself up a lot about this. No, but, you don't. But the fact is that I have gone about two years without basically putting on a, a, any weight. You okay. took off weight. Well, no, I've, I've, I've stabilized. I go down low a little you bit and I go up. You started the diet in December, so you had to take... This was two years ago. I'm talking about two years yeah, ago. Yeah, but what I'm saying... No, I didn't start it in December. I started a year before no, that. You're down, you're down, I, I've been... Right, but it was I, Thanksgiving. I lost that weight and have kept it off for two years. Yeah, a year and a half. A year, a year, a year and, and a half, because it took you... Anyway, anyway, I haven't gained it back. And right. he said... But he doesn't people, stop he, talking wait, about wait, 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 it. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. that piece of celery. You think there's any carbs in it? Oh my God, this piece of bread, I can't eat it. I've got to check the carbs. Yeah, well, that's what's keeping the weight off, dear, because I was talking to him and he said he knows a lot of guys who've come in, they've gone through a weight loss thing, lost like 50 pounds, and within a year, it's all back on plus. You know, so if you want to see me go back to that, then hey, don't. I don't. It's not my body. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's yours to use. No, it's not. Yes, you can. You can use it in any way you wish. <laughs> damage, damage, peace. Her idea of using my body in any way she can is to have me make lunch. You know. Give me a break. Mm. Turn it on. She always what? Turn the thing on. Hold on. I think we should bring people, because I want to be part of the conversation. Well, you can. You can stick around. I don't want to stick around. I have to get up early. I have some, some things to show people here. Because today was quite a day for, for Trump being Trump. Oh, God. I have his, uh, his tweet here. This tweet is... Which one? The one that reads, Republicans are doing so well in early voting and at the polls... And now this bomb stuff. It was probably bomb shit, and then he, yeah, he changed this it. This bomb stuff happens. Yes, bomb stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> and the mo the momentum greatly slow, uh, slow, uh, and wait a minute. And the momentum greatly slows news not talking politics. <laughs> In other words, this means, oh, this bomb has upstaged me, well, and exactly now you're not it. talking about me, you're talking about the bomb. That's right. Y those bombs weren't an important story, eh? Listen, I don't know why he feels so bad. There was a guy driving a van around uh, Florida uh, advertising him. <laughs> anyway, uh, very unfortunate what's going on. Republicans go out and vote. This bomb stuff. <laughs> now, there's another one you didn't see that I got here. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have it. Oh, or do I have it? No, I don't. I guess I don't. I guess I don't. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me let me go get it for you. Get it for you here. Uh, 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 image. Let me see here. Image, and then uh, I want image two, and I'm gonna go. Um, where is it? I, I'm sorry. I, I have a problem here. Hmm. It's 1013. Well, let me read you the other one, okay? That, then we'll, read it. Um, uh, okay, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay. Uh, let me go uh, get the other one here. Listen to this one. I thought I put this up. I'm sorry, folks. Um, read it. Funny how lowly rated CNN. Now, this is a day, <laughs> a couple of days after CNN has it's a bomb, bomb scare. You know, rather than call CNN and say, I know we have our differences, but I want to check in and make sure and see how you are. Or call one of the two presidents. You could, well, that's what you do. That's right. But, you know, he, he he's afraid to call those presidents. There's a good reason why he's afraid to call those presidents. Because, he's a piece of shit. Because he's a piece of shit, exactly. But anyway, you know, to be presidential, you call these people and you say, are you okay? You know, you feeling all right? You know, sorry to hear about it. Uh, no, he doesn't do any of that. Instead, he says, funny how low rated uh, CNN <laughs> and others can criticize me at will, even blaming me for the current spate of bombs and ridiculously compare this to September 11th and the Oklahoma City bombing. Now, tell me. Has anybody compared this to 9-11 and the Oklahoma City bombing? Did no, you, you it's, in, it's in a box all by itself. You watched the news 
continually during this thing. I mean, you yeah. were like addicted to it. Yeah, right? I watch it in the office Did they too. ever compare it to 9-11 or no. Oklahoma City? Hmm. Well, he's hearing some news I haven't heard. Yet when I criticize them, they go wild and scream. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Hold this on. This is the a president of Bl our country. Blame me for the current spate of bombs and the ridiculously comparing this to September 11th and the Oklahoma City bombing. Yet, when I criticize them, they go wild and scream. It's just not presidential. <laughs> he, 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 that tweet, in and of itself, wasn't particularly presidential. But you know, everything that he says about people, it's really about himself that he's talking yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's a shithead. He really is. He's a real shithead. Um, oh, listen, I let me go find something here. While, Must you? Well, yes, because I, th I think I, I forgot. I put it up and then I took it down. Let me uh, let me see here. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Oh, excuse oh, me. What are you doing? I'm Why are you yawning? I'm tired. Wait a minute. I gotta find something here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Um, Benny cards. Uh, I want to read you what Chuck Lorre wrote as a vanity card. Oh, this card. is great. This now, is great. Let me, let me, let me tell you. Background. Let me explain. Chuck Lorre is a producer of some of the most successful shows in television. He does The Big Bang Theory, does Mom. Uh, what's the other show? He's got, got, oh, he got Young Sheldon. I mean, he, he's, he had uh, 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 what, one and a half, two and a half men, that one. Anyway. Anyway, very successful TV producer. And what he does at the end of every show, you know how every producer puts their logo for their company on at the end, and his logo every week is a little thing he's written. And they're called vanity cards, and they go by so fast, you the only way them. you're gonna read them is if you freeze frame and your DVR, okay? And then you can read them. This was the one from last night, and uh, this is let great. Me, let me see here. Let me just move this over to the screen so I uh, so I can read it. I can read it a little better, and uh, also not. It says okay. It says my prayer, <laughs> and this went up on CBS last night. Okay, but very quick. It, it lasts for about maybe two seconds, something like that. God, I call you that, even though I suspect thou art well beyond names and words and might actually be some sort of ineffable quantum situation. I humbly beseech thee to make thy presence known on November 6th. Demonstrate your omnipotence uh, through us and make, uh, as we make ink marks on the little circles in curtain booths. <laughs> of course, if you in your divine wisdom believe a fascist, hate-filled, fear-mongering, demagogic, truth-shattering, autocratic golf cheater is what we need right now, then you know thy will be done. <laughs> but if thou art inclined to more freedom, more love, more compassion, and just more of the good stuff thou hast been promoting in our hearts and our peri... peri uh, no boy, I don't know what this word is. Periatal lobes. Either one doesn't really matter. I submissively ask that I encourage voter turnout in the general direction. Also, God, please help Bob Mueller. Guide him to make, uh, to make him strong, brave, wise, and true. And yes, I know there must be thousands of guys named Bob Mueller. Or Mueller. Uh, so why not help them all just to be on the safe side? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Remind me, remind those who collaborate with the darkness that thou art the light, and the light is not above whipping out a little Old Testament wrath. <laughs> Amen again. That's great. Yeah. Uh, and, and you can, uh, you know, I mean, and that went up on CBS last night. And if you don't think the censors read them, uh, they do. They be do? Because he's had some that he's put up and it went censored. Right across it? Yeah, just uh, instead of the text, it just says. Have you censored. ever seen any of the ones yeah. that have been censored? No, but he doesn't publish them. It just says censored. He should do a book. I'm sure a book is going to come out. He's done hundreds of them. Yeah. Uh, and some of them are absolutely brilliant. And have a whole section for the censored. Absolutely brilliant. And that one, it's a little hard to read because it was very small. Uh, that one last night was just, you know, I mean, 
I imagine the people at CBS looked at it and went, oh, that's his opinion. They just let it go because it had nothing dirty in it or anything else. But um, I love that whole thing about, you know, golf cheating. <laughs> you know, they list all these horrible hate-mongering whatever and golf cheater. <laughs> well, he is. Yeah. Does he cheat at golf? Yeah, he's been known to cheat. How does he cheat? I don't know. Score? Have, who knows? Move the ball? Who yeah. knows with his foot? God. I mean, he's a yeah. fat fucking slob. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he didn't used to be a fat fucking slob. You know, he had that playboy look to him. His wannabe. Know? His wannabe from Queens into Manhattan. His what? His, he was a wannabe. A wannabe what? Wannabe magnate in, in New York City. Magnate. As, as opposed to Queens. Yeah, well, his father was against him coming into... Oh, I didn't know he was against them. Yeah, he just, he, his father well, was Well, his Queens. father financed him, but his father was against the move uh, because he, he his father always felt that, hey, the fate of the world is in Queens. You know, <laughs> we know how to make money here in Queens and we're not competing against the really big guys. And that's how Fred Trump made his money. Um, but Donald said he wanted to come into New York, so he built Trump Tower and a few other things. And it, it just, he did more out of just pure publicity than anything Well, he else. learned how to, instead of building, how to uh, uh, franchise your name. Yeah, well, that's what he did. That's what he ended up you, doing. You know, all yeah. these buildings that have his name on them are They're basically franchise. a franchise. Yeah. Now, we have some friends that live down in a Trump apartment building. And they were one of the first to... Yeah, down the, in Trump City, and they got their... They're, they, they're, 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 con they're, they're a condo, I think. And uh, no, they're a co-op, and they all voted to take the Trump sign down. Yeah, and, and then they had. The, I think to, it, he threatened to sue them. Yeah, <laughs> but they took the Trump sign down. And down. Part of the reason they wanted to is they bought these apartments, all right, and they wanted them to be worth something. And and the name Trump on the building was taking value off the home. That's right. And so other buildings have followed suit, and all now of what, his buildings along uh, well, West Side Avenue. Well, in what was once called Trump City. Right, uh, no longer. I don't think there's a Trump sign up there. There's a few. Yeah, so this man is really well loved. Oh God, what a you piece know, of shit! And, and and believe it or not, it's not because people hated him. You know, that's not why they did it. He's they, just so unqualified for this position. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, he might be a nice guy to hang out with. No, although I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it. I doubt. But he, what he's doing to this country is what he's done to all of his businesses. Yeah, and just everything went bankrupt. Yeah, you know, what a great business guy well, this he, guy he has is. Has a plan for this country. What he's going to do is burn the country down and get the insurance money. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's the way he does business. Um, uh, it's really it's amazing that in you know in a situation like we had in the last couple of days, um, it was time for him to be presidential, and by that I mean he doesn't know how. You, if you just take a, look, take a page from his asshole friend Rudy Giuliani, who when 9-11 happened, knew how to be a mayor. Oh, you, by the way, know. has anyone seen Rudy lately? No, you don't see Rudy lately. <laughs> he just Rudy's disappeared. disappeared off the face of the map. <laughs> He's in a block of cement somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> but no, but what I'm saying is Rudy was a good uh, you know, was very mayoral. He got on television. He made people feel safe. You know, he did all those things. And, and that's where he was good. Uh, but you got uh, Trump. And it, what Trump should be doing right now is giving speeches, trying to calm people down, trying to say that everything's fine. You know, and we, we really, you know, maybe I've been aiding and abetting this situation. And maybe if you if I ask you to bring down the uh, rhetoric and I think that you're responsible for raising the rhetoric even if he believes that maybe I should do my part and by my own example he has never mine. ever apologized for anything ever. well that's a, that's out of the uh, Roger Stone book yeah. playbook which is never and the Roger Stone's a stone rule okay never, never ever, ever apologize. apologize yeah no matter how wrong you might be never ever apologize uh, the way he could have handled this was to say, look, a lot of people are saying my rhetoric has been a little incendiary. If that's true, uh, I'm going to bring mine down. Everybody else, please bring yours down, too. He doesn't you even know. know. 
He doesn't know, know to he do does, that. He doesn't know anything. He has no. Yeah. So, the, so the, he he then goes out and he gives a he reads whatever was prepared for him, and then he gives a speech and lets everybody start yelling, "Lock her up! Lock her up!" Yeah. You know. A group of black kids oh, oh, this, from uh, yeah. from a, a some type of leadership training uh, were in the White House. And he's rallying them up, and they're saying while he's talking, "Lock her up, lock her up." I mean, what is and, happening? And he's giving, and he gave just gave the speech on how we should all get together. Well, the and, teleprompter. Yeah, like lock who up? I mean, Hillary's an old story. This isn't even even you know. He, 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 forget it. You're not competing. She's not going to run again, Donald. Don't worry about her. You know, it's like he's still competing against Hillary Clinton. It's true. And I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. Okay, I think it's time. No, it's not yes, time. It is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Uh, so, what do you think about the whole Megyn Kelly thing? Oh man! <laughs> but you know, that wasn't the first time the blackface. She she came out about a year ago and said Jesus and Santa Claus were are white. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you can't have a black Santa. You can't have a black They're Santa Claus. And Jesus was never black. <laughs> well, to begin with, mythical characters can be any color you exactly. want to make. Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't, I don't know what she was trying to say in that discussion. I think maybe she was trying to say, "Well, it's Halloween, and people should she be able to." She was saying, "When I was a little girl, and and people dressed up in blackface, it was okay. It wasn't an issue." Mm -hmm. Well, I, there's been a lot of misinformation, though. One of the pieces of misinformation was I heard somebody saying, oh, well, you know, uh, minstrel shows were making a mockery of black people. And that's not true. That's not what the minstrel show was. The minstrel show, in fact, y yes, it was white guys dressed up in black face, but they were being very uh, loving of the blacks and the minstrel music and so on yeah, and but so forth. That, that was during the era when blacks yeah, weren't allowed but, but to what appear. I'm, yeah, what I'm saying is minstrel shows in and of, them, of themselves were not pejorative against blacks. Well, in a way they were because blacks were not allowed no, or permitted no, well, actually to there were No, there were some blacks in minstrel shows. Very few. And believe it or not, they had to wear white lips so they <laughs> yeah. looked like they were white guys in blackface. <laughs> But uh, the, the fact was that the minstrel show, as a show, had, was simply a kind of show, right? And it was a stylization. And um, it was basically, it was just a musical variety show with people dressed up in blackface. You know, you had one of the biggest stars in America was Al Jolson. And Al Jolson would put, I have, I have a video of him doing his plantation uh, was it bit. one of his movies, wasn't it? Oh well, he had one. He had one film. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, where he sings "Going to Heaven on a Mule," and he does the film in blackface. And there are actual black actors in the film and black people dancing around him, while he's got this blackface on. And you got to go. What were they thinking? <laughs> and, they, and, I and, mean, I know they were thinking, "Hey, we got a job. We're working." You and know? that was what seventy years ago. So yeah. for her to say that now that it's totally acceptable. But, but blackface. Eddie Cantor was a blackface artist, and it, it was just a form of show business. Because blacks were not allowed. I mean, well, that's why. Well, nobody. A black wasn't allowed to be Al Jolson. A black okay. wasn't allowed to perform in white theaters. Yeah, but Al Jolson put on. I, I, I to be. I'm, I'm trying to say that the blackface was not. And I said, "What are you doing? What are you doing? You got one minute left. You got one minute left." <laughs> um, it's uh, terrible. Then Al Jolson wasn't uh, wasn't making fun of black people. Uh, he just did blackface, and for some reason, I, I don't understand. He's a Jewish guy. I'm Jewish. I would never put on blackface. But you weren't around 70 years ago when they were doing all this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But th but it was a form of show business at the time. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, back to Megyn Kelly. Where's yeah. she going to go? They well, Fox she, doesn't want they her. They don't want her. They say that actually Tucker Carlson is getting ratings that are just as good as she was getting. Better. 
Yeah, better. They said better. So uh, I don't believe that, okay. but they don't want her back because there's bad blood there. That, oh, that you're good. sneaking over, aren't you? Well, Look, as she's slowly coming into my picture. Watch, you'll see her. There, there she Hi. is. There, there she is. Hello. Hello. Mm. Uh, yes, glad to see you. Glad you could drop by. Here, why don't you get? Why don't you get in the frame? Get out! Get away from my golf ball! I am. I'm trying to. Okay, that's my 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 physical therapy. Okay, I will turn on the. See my uh, t-shirt. It's a little warm in here tonight. See my isn't it? t-shirt. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, it's a little warm in here tonight. I don't have the heater on in here. Never have the heater. No, on but it's here. always warm in here. Because I got all this equipment. My throat has been. Enough. <coughs> all, all right, open, op open, 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 hmm? open. No, I don't want to open. I open, uh, the, the lines are open. It's just nobody's calling. Oh, so, you know. They see out there, they at home see that the lines are they open. They know. Okay, so they know the lines are open. So it's a matter of them calling and uh, checking know, in. And checking in, right. Um, you so like this hat? We, we were going to go out to New Jersey tomorrow, but we're not going to. A nor'easter is coming in tonight. Is it really? Yeah. Is it going to snow? It's not going to snow. No, rain. Yeah, because a nor'easter usually is accompanied by snow. Well, because that's when they come in January, but this is October. Oh, okay. So well, how do you describe, what is a nor'easter? It's when two types of winds hit each other and they they come together. Oh, really? Yeah. No, okay. nor so is it going to be easter. really windy? Wind, very windy. So I can't, I can't go to Costco tomorrow. Of course you can go to Costco. Of course tomorrow. I can get Costco. Try to get a, a, a cab. You can't get cabs out here anymore. Call. Cool. It's impossible. Yeah, there's discount tickets in there. Call. Cool. Call what? The the group that takes us home. That that group from what group Costco. What group takes us home? From Costco, the the taxis. Oh really? They gave me a hand, a handful. Oh, really? No. There's a handful of discount tickets. Use yeah. them. Well, here comes here comes Jeff. Jeff's ah, the first there one. There he there, is. Well, first one right out of the chute there. Look at that handsome guy. Yeah. Wow. How are you doing? Why is it I'm not even seeing my face? Yeah. Can you see? How are you doing, thing? guys? Mm. I don't know. There's something in the middle. You look fine. Please yeah. wait. Yeah. You look fine. You so. look great. Yeah. Well, let me try this. Oh, I mean, here comes Brian. Brian. Okay. See, they're, they're all beating Phil to the punch. Two tonight. Fridays in a row, Brian. I can talk to Brian and see him. Yeah. Usually he calls late. There, there's a, there he is. There's Brian. Hey. Calling us from his hovel. He's not in a truck. He's not in his truck. Yeah, no. What is that blue thing you have in your hand? Uh, it's my cell phone. Is it a blue? Why is it blue? Is it a case blue? You just made a, yeah. bought a blue case? Jeff, can you see us? He can't see us. He, he, now I can see you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what happens. Can you see yep. us? You can see us now? Can you see everybody? Yeah, but I got some junk in the middle. That's the problem. This isn't the new Skype, is it? Yeah, of course. It oh, is? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Yeah, well, lots of luck with that. Well, you're going to all have to deal with it next week. Well, no, not really. I'm not going to. Here's what's going to happen. Here's I'm, Phil. I, I'm going to keep using this one as long as I can, and when I can't anymore, I'm, I'll stop doing the video for the for the uh, uh, what do you call it for the uh, citizen panel. You know, we'll just to go back to just doing audio only, making it a podcast. Hello, hey. Phil. When are you going? Hey. When are you going to get your uh, control board fixed? I'm on. Uh, you know, I, I got to find some time. Uh, Today, uh, you know, I've got a I've got a company that I pay a monthly fee, uh, very small fee, but they're very good at, at fixing well, apparently stuff. Apparently not. <laughs> well, uh, what I'm going to do over the weekend is call how, Apple. I, I told you how to fix it. Yeah, I, I, but I'm going to go one step further. No, no, no. But at first of all, what you're doing is you're trying to go in through the USB port, and there may be something in. Uh, it doesn't work right between Mojave and the USB port exactly. output of that. So what you do is, in, as opposed to doing the uh, output coming, uh, the input into your machine from a USB port, you just simply do it from one of the 
line out. Okay, words. wait a minute. Let me do to you what you do to me. This yeah. is very boring. Um, so. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's a very simple answer, <laughs> Phil. You were right. Uh, it was good. I, 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 yeah, I have a better way. I'm going to roll this piece of shit back to High Sierra, plug in the USB thing, and it works fine. You don't know that. <laughs> it did before. And how are you going to roll it back to High Sierra? I'm calling Apple on Saturday or Sunday, and they'll walk me through it. Well, you know, I uh, I find High Sierra uh, that the new Mojave has problems. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. One of which was uh, uh, I use a program that's a, that's an encoder that puts the audio out, and we do that 24/7. And every now and then it crashes the program. Now that yeah, program I, has never crashed when it was in High Sierra. Never. Right. I'm having problems with my printer, my big uh, uh, photographic printer. Uh, there's all sorts of issues with Mojave. So you know what? Yeah. I'm going to roll back. I'll, I'll tell you what the other issue. I'll it. tell you what the other issue with Mojave, and and this is for all you people out there at Max and are thinking about upgrading to Mojave, is that uh, when I did the server, I had to literally turn the machine off and on a couple of times to get it to go to the next phase of installation. It didn't do it automatically. And the other well, machine, the other the other uh, uh, Mini Mac Mini I have had the same problem. That's why I haven't done hers. You know? I don't well, it, uh, it, it installed flawlessly on my Mac Pro. So uh, you know, I mean, it just it oh, went. Wait a minute! I know how you can well, just do it very simply if you want to bring back uh, High Sierra. With that, I'm saying good night. Okay. Too much technical. <laughs> See you guys. Mm. Do you I would stay later uh, if the conversation were more I'm interesting. Sure, I'm sure that with all the with all the <laughs> With uh, well, stick around because you know he'll be talk he'll be yelling, getting you pissed off if you stick around. Uh, <laughs> just give him time. Uh, no, well, uh, 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 with all the money you spent on stuff, I'm sure you have a backup drive. Uh, you know, no, I don't. I, no, I have backup. Yeah. I have backup for all my data, but I have not backed up Phil, the Phil. Uh, the Phil, Phil, you're an idiot. Well, you're an idiot. You've been calling me that for years. You know, I can't tell you how many times a backup drive has saved my life here. When I what when, do you use for a backup drive? Time any, machine? Any hard uh, uh, time machine is the hard drive program, uh, the backup program that comes with the Mac. You simply get yourself another external hard drive. You hook. Uh, you start it. Uh, you start uh, using your uh, your. Uh, you tell your. Uh, uh, what do you call it? time machine program in your Mac that you want to mm -hmm. use that drive as your backup and that's all there is to it and then you tell what you want to backup and you say back up the main drive because that's yeah. the one that has the system on it and maybe your data you want to back that up you know well my dad I have a Drobo so I have 70 gigs 70 gigs 70 terabytes of uh, of storage plus I have two more four terabyte drives that are backups to the backup all right well you've got those backed up so you don't need to back up your data but you do need to back up that main drive so that what I could tell you to do tonight if you wanted yeah. to go back to high Sierra was go back to a point in the in the time machine mm -hmm. uh, where you um, uh, had high Sierra installed and just reinstall well, yeah, I'm just going to let Apple walk me through it. You know, they, that's why they get oh, the big they'll probably, money. They'll probably tell you you can't go back to High Sierra. Because well, they, no, there's got to be a way to uninstall. Uh, uh, not, not, necess no? not necessarily. Not necessarily because mm. Apple are pricks that way. You know, they yeah. don't want you going backwards. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'll let you know on Tuesday. All these companies are pricks, you know? Yeah. They, they they think they know better. I mean, Microsoft's one of the worst. I mean, what they're doing with Skype is pathetic. A lot well, of them, when you work, when you try working for them, it's even worse than that. So. Oh, really? Well, did, did you work for yeah. some of them? Well, I'm just speaking more generalistically about uh, you know, mostly transportation and logistics. They're they're just awful. Yeah. Well, if, if I can't roll it back, at, at least in the said. area I live in, as I call it, up at Foxburg, where people are in love with the smell of their own farts. I mean, if it's not uh, go Steelers, go Pens, go fucking uh, the sports team, or go UPMC or healthcare, that we're the best healthcare in the fucking universe. Bullshit rhetoric, uppity rhetoric. Then uh, you know it's. Yeah. 
Don't they tell you that, Brian? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Brian, don't they say things like that because they're trying to make you feel like living in Pittsburgh is in hell? <laughs> you know? Well, I'm living in a lot of places, a lot of cities, uh, pretty much hell. But anyway, I saw Jeff was reacting. I was wondering what, what uh, you have to say about that. Well, I, I think you have a, 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 your own equipment, your own feeling about where you live. But I think a lot of people should should think the same thing wherever they live too. A lot of things are pretty shitty. Yep. And you gotta accept it or you or you wanna say, Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. I was watching a program before this called The Toughest Prisons in Russia. That's for one of and, and that's a place you do not want to go. <laughs> you, know, the, not. you believe them, right? <laughs> yeah, but I believe them. As far as the prison of America are concerned, at least you get three meals. You just have to make sure you're not anybody's bitch. Yeah, well, you, you can't be anybody's bitch there. They lock you in a cell with one other person, and you don't come out. <laughs> they give you uh, soup and bread. And uh, most of these guys are in there for 22, 25 like years. Russia. Yeah, and, and it's in Siberia where it gets 50 hey, below. It, and Sunday like, you get bread with crust. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, that was that was one depressing program. You know, the toughest well, you, prison. You know, I've got to I gotta do something towards, I don't want to do. Oh, honestly, that's why I tend to gravitate towards programming like that or like mafia movies or true crime because, you know, I don't like this fantasy matrix superhero spandex bullshit. I like to, I like to make be made to feel worse than I am just like I prefer nightmares over dreams if I have to dream at all because when I wake up from the nightmare then I'm waking up or when I'm done watching that depressing program I'm done being immersed in an environment worse than the environment I'm in anyhow yeah. that's a good comparison I just had to turn on the air <laughs> conditioner because it's so warm in here son of a bitch so. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, it's hot here too. I don't know why. Well, it's not hot here. In fact, the temperature outside is forty-four degrees. But uh, they well, do have the radiators on, and they they haven't turned them off. They didn't make them go on and off, on and off, on and off, uh, because the super is on vacation. Oh, can't you turn like a a, a spigot and yeah, but I, uh, uh, stop we, them? From... We, don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do uh -huh. it. That causes well, hell, I just turn house. on C-SPAN and listen to our illustrious president speak, and I'm in a world that's uh, worse than, you know, my home life here. I mean, man, Patrick's right. You know, he is our president. He's my president. He's just president. And he's, come and to, he's think, of it. Come to think of it. Only because anything short, anything short, Alex and mm -hmm. Jack, uh, Bishop, if you're listening, mm -hmm. anything short of an armed insurrection, you cannot say he's your president. You cannot say he's not Brian? your president. Brian, there is a white van available in Florida, probably cheap. It's yeah, got a but, bunch but, of stickers but, on it, <laughs> but, you, but it, it might be good for you. No, so, it wouldn't, so, have, it wouldn't have Clinton stickers, I can tell you that. It'd have like, uh, it probably wouldn't be marked so at what, all. By the no. way, Phil, what do you have to say about our assumptions about who the guy might have been? Uh, I, I thought it, I thought it was Brian, but you know, <laughs> but uh, well, but uh, look, this, look, in anything it, like this, Brian, this guy, Brian, this guy Brian is nuts. anybody, well, we know that, yeah. But then again, so is Trump. No, no, they, they, Trump had nothing to do with this guy. This oh, guy, this uh, guy, his what own crazy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Phil, Phil, come on. You know, you I, have to take responsibility no, 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 for, no. for I heard creating the an same air of I, permission, for giving an air of permission for a guy like this. Oh, he, he he didn't do anything this to let me put it this way. He didn't do anything that would mitigate this guy's craziness. It's too late. The guy's been crazy no, for a long time. No, but he he isn't doing it now. I there's four of us here. Have and we've all heard Trump say the same things that this guy Syak heard. Syak acted on it. We, we don't act on things like that. We're not crazy, we, you know. Just because Phil, you know Phil, Trump's yes, uh, guy, yes, yeah. and that's why. And I talk, told you Two often. I, I told you many. <laughs> I told you many times, Phil, that yeah. I often felt as a broadcaster one of the most important jobs I had was the protection of my audience. 
was that I can't do anything that would hurt that audience, and one of those would be giving a sense of permission to somebody to do some kind of act which was not right, because there are crazy people out there, and you've got to be careful about that, and you have a responsibility when you're on the air. Well, as a president, you have that same responsibility. He did not have that responsibility. As a result, he gave solace to a nutcase like this. Well, I happen to believe that anybody can be driven insane. It's just a, it's just a matter of how long it takes to whittle you down to get to that point. So, some of us, it may not be that long. I mean, it may not it, take it, that you know, long, they, they should have, people who saw this van driving around should have known it was him because it was a rolling advertisement for all the oh, yeah. people where he, he dropped the bombs off. They had he's pictures not really of crazy. all of them. He's not very bright because none of the bombs, like you said yesterday, none of the bombs that were mailed worked. Just like the son of a bitch, you know, to be fair, again, the Patrick, if you're listening, uh, call in, please. But if uh, the, the guy who shot that congressman in that baseball game last year, you know, his, his problem is his aim wasn't his aim wasn't well trained enough you know they're, they're both pieces of shit well, he he hit him uh it's just that there was no, some police officers yeah there he was some police him. officers uh, the, but but here almost here, here's the thing and number one number one, number one you know i i heard sarah uh fat face uh huckabee uh, say huckabee say that uh well you know shot you didn't you didn't, you didn't say this about the guy who was a fan of uh of bernie sanders who shot scalise or whatever his name was. right that and and that was I think one of, the, one of the most stupid things I ever heard because in that particular case, you didn't hear Bernie Sanders using incendiary language and incendiary uh, spe uh, uh, speeches, uh, uh, which would give people a sense of permission to do it, that. Although, as Patrick said yesterday, and so did I the day before, you uh, you had uh, people like uh, water waters. That's and, bullshit uh, too. That's bullshit too. And I'll tell you well, why, Phil. I'll tell you why, Phil. Because yeah. what you're talking about is simply when you see a politician you disagree with, you should make your disagreement known to that politician. Uh, she says get them, uh, get in their face. Well, that uh, that yes, get in their face. You know, uh, let them know yeah. your displeasure with what they're doing. You know, I shouldn't have sent you a book. I should have sent you blinders. Nobody, nobody, you know, you, you got them no, on all no, the time. No, 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 Nobody said they had to go to these restaurants and be out in public. Ah, oh, come on. Where in, the, where in the English language does get in their face equate to get in their face and shoot them in the face? Or get in their face and start yelling at them. No, yeah, where, was, no yelling, where is that? Where, 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 is, where is that building them, a bomb or shooting a gun? Serve them, well, they, so what? They, if they want to lose their job, that's their right to say, okay, no, I'm not going to serve you. I'll... This, this guy, Fire me, but I'm not serving this motherfucker. This guy Sayek is a nutcase, and you can't put any logic on what the guy well, did. But when yes, I can put logic to it because he heard. <laughs> wait a minute, he heard Donald Trump in his mind tell him to go out and beat people up, and so did the guy that shot John Lennon. You know? No, uh, no, it's, no, it's, no, 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 no. I'm John sorry, Lennon Phil. That was a different story altogether. He wasn't out because he heard voices say, go get John Lennon. He was out because of Jody Foster. And he heard her voices. Well, and was what a about the one that shot Reagan? You know, here we go with what aboutism again. Well, yeah, no. Take the what aboutism yeah. and shove it. Well, you no, want to get what no, aboutism. I, I, no, I, you, about you stop that. doing the what aboutism and deal with the situations. Well, and what about about is to. another form of deflection, so you're just deflecting. It's but, not a deflection. Fuck you. Hey. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make a mime out of that. <laughs> Don't have to. Oh, yeah. I'm with sound enabled. Yeah, I was making that noise because that's exactly what I hear when I hear when I hear people like you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, you know, uh, South Park. If any of you have ever seen that episode where uh, where Stan uh, gets too cynical and old for his own own good at ten years of age, and everybody looks like an anthropomorphic pile of shit, talking yeah. shit and spewing shit. And as far as uh, foods and whatnot are concerned, everything starts tasting like sit, shit and smelling like shit and sounding like shit. Yeah. That's that exactly sounds, kind that of where sounds, I'm right now. That sounds very shitty. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, uh, uh, um, by the way, is anybody else going to call tonight? Where Where's Ray this week? We haven't heard from Ray. He's uh, working. He's got a play. Oh. Uh, he, he, uh, I don't know if you get his feed on Facebook, but it's, uh, I forgot what the name of the play is, but... Uh, 
Uh, I don't know, and I don't know how long it's running. For what it's for what it's worth, Phil, I hear the same thing. I hear the same same drivel and garbage from people who uh, shill for Hillary. So I've been hearing the same shit. All from I'm people saying, Phil, Phil, too, Phil so. listen, listen to me. All I'm saying is, is that of all the people in America who should be responsible and care about the American public's safety. It should be Donald Trump, and he should not be calling, not be lionizing people who body slam somebody else, or uh, you know, give somebody a bad time because uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, say say lock her up, and a lot of violent rhetoric. He needs to be the guy who brings us all together. I mean, why didn't he call Obama? Why didn't he call Clintons and say, "Are you okay? Want to let you know we're thinking of you." They blocked his number. No, they didn't. <laughs> no, so they blocked the White House. No, number. they didn't. No, and and he could have called. He, he could have called. Number. He could have called CNN and said, despite all our differences, uh, I just want to make sure your people are safe and and hope that you're handling this fine. But I'll bet you my existing testicles that he blocked their number instead of the other I, way around. I, well, no, Nobody he was he was anybody. asked today. He was asked today if he was going to call Clintons or the yeah, Obamas. Yeah, I heard about that. And he said, well, there are no plans to, uh, and I'll get back to you on that. You know. Hello, Rob. Hello. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Don't, you, you, you want to, why don't we all buy a white van and put stickers on it? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and I love all the right-wingers who are coming out saying that it's a... Uh, it, it, it's a hoax. The only a thing, democratic hoax. The only thing that was missing. The only thing that was missing on that van was a big sign on the back that said "Bust me." <laughs> you know. All right. He he was lived, and this is his second van that's been done up like this. <laughs> the first one was all a Native American stuff. And did you hear the interview with the woman from the pizzeria yes. that he worked with? Yes. No. Yes. No. No. She's a lesbian. Yeah. And she is a minority. And he. He, she said, he would only because he used to deliver pizza at people's houses with that van, and he only did it at night. They wouldn't let him go during the day and deliver pizza in that van during the day. She yeah. said he had the greatest work ethic. He was one of the best workers, but he basically told her he wanted her. He thought she should be dead because she's a lesbian and all that. He was very respectful, but he told her that uh, he, yeah. he, you know, he wanted her dead. Yeah. Well, you know, um, uh, uh, what's interesting, and this goes against what you said last night, yeah, Phil, that the FBI did say today that all these bombs were capable of exploding. These were not mock-ups. No, you said they. You said they. You said no. that they were. They were. They weren't meant to work. At one point, you did say that, well, Phil. No, I said that they didn't blow up. Uh, they had uh, explosive in them, but they weren't rigged in such a way that they'd actually blow up unless you, uh, there was a battery, there was a clock, and there was wires. But oh, not, so that's not, okay. Then. Yeah, but it, it didn't have a switch. There was no way to activate it. Uh, you know, you would have had to, you would have had to receive the bomb, put it all together, and then it would blow up. No, he so didn't get that. Does that make it okay? Well, if you're going to get a bomb and then put it together to see if it blows up, I think you, you should uh, be subject to the explosion. Yeah, but I think he was hoping that people would play around with it or something and then it would go <laughs> Come off. Come on. You know. <laughs> if you got a bomb in a mail, look, would you play look, around with look, it? Look, this guy wasn't playing with 10 years with, old? This yeah. guy wasn't playing with a full yeah. deck. You yeah. expect him to make a perfect bomb? Come on. Yeah. Shit. I was just going to say, Alex, at least, uh, you know... I can respect somebody and detest them otherwise in every other sense of the word. Case in point, at least people like Timothy McVeigh were skilled. He, he was what good. He, did. he was they good at put it. put a target on their back when they parked that pickup truck under that federal building. It wasn't adorned with, like, Nixon stickers or shit like that. Yeah, people, like, people like him, I find, and Ted Kaczynski on the left, kook wing, I may find them. I may find them detestable, but I at least respect them. See, if I were going to do what this guy did, okay, I would do it, and then after I mail the stuff, I get on the first plane for Europe and get the hell out of Dodge. He was living in his van. His parents I threw know. him out of the yeah. house. Yeah, fifty-six years old. He's living at home. 
No, he's yeah. living in a van. No, he's been out for about ten years. I heard. No, no, no. They, I, they said that they, he just got thrown out of his house and he was living in the van. He also claimed that he was an American Indian. I don't remember what right. tribe. The but, Seminole. Uh, Seminole. Seminole. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, Elizabeth Warren can have that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> you know. She, Elizabeth she lost, Warren may want to talk about band. respect or lack there. She lost my respect when she did that, but that's a side note. Yeah. And well, you know, that's one common element they can they can both. Well, I've never been crazy about or, Elizabeth Warren anyway. So yeah. well, what is it what is it called when you say that you were in the military and you weren't uh, stolen valor? Uh, yeah, you know, I think what Elizabeth Warren did is is basically stolen valor on uh, you know to do with the Indian tribes. I'm sure she and probably the Cherokee had, Nation would agree with that. Well, I'm sure she had some Indian blood in her, but it wasn't like enough. To, it was Yeah, she probably uh, screwed a guy that was Indian. When she is, was that is that supposed to be funny? No. Yeah, it's about as close as she's going to get to Indian blood. She's no. all she's European. She might have had it. Look, she may have somewhere felt that she had Indian blood. She probably sent away for one of those DNA tests and they came back Look, and said she was one percent. The Indian. amount of Indian blood, the amount of By Indian the way, blood, also, she had also, in her, also, it's not Indian, it's Native American. Food. Okay, if if Hitler was looking for Indians, the amount of Indian blood she had in her, Hitler would have passed and said, you're European. Well, look, uh, look. my feeling is if Hitler was out after the Jews and he had killed you, he'd been satisfied just having well, done yeah, you. Well, look. And not, well, killed, actually, and not killed any more Jews. I consider Casino Indian and not Dot Indian only because uh, it, it, Indian, regardless, uh, neither are Native. And uh, the, the only reason why we call them Native Americans is that they were here before us after having crossed... Beringia. Albert, Albert used to call, uh, uh, Albert, was, Albert used to use the comparison of woo 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 versus yeah. Dothead. <laughs> they're not Native American any more than I am by that logic. What? Who are not? And I was and what, you what, and what, I. What, what, Alex, who's not? Uh, everyone on this panel were born in the well, continent. No, but United uh, States, you so know, by definition, uh, we're all Native American. When, when the white man came here. These people were already here, so they were Native Americans. But they came the from Asia over. Well, the if you want to go all the way back, but we're not splitting hairs here. We're saying. Oh, we're, 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 but we're, we are splitting hairs when uh, other are there arguments what, what are. Else would, what else would you call? Thousand twenty fourth, Hitler. Like I said, when Hitler was looking for Jews, if we were what once thirty second Jew, uh, they take us off to the camp. But one thousand twenty fourth. It's believed that Abel Braun was part Jewish. I think Hitler was part Jewish, wasn't he? He may uh, well have been, part. yes. May well have been. Yeah. Uh, uh, everybody's part Jewish. They, you know, that kind of, those kind of crusades, including those, those genocidal including crusades, those, they're going after the wrong people. Including those Asians who came across the Bering Straits, right, Phil? Exactly. Yeah. 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 They're Jewish, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, they're it's, going it's after the, the wrong people. The lost tribe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, commit genocide on people with apparent ideologies, like Trumps, for example. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trump or their ass in a concentration camp, and you got like everybody but cheering and saying, "Yeah, yeah. gas that motherfucker." <laughs> Trump and Elizabeth Warren have the same background. You know, it's just that she lied about hers. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, you're and not, Trump doesn't lie. Never. No. Never. Never. <laughs> No. Yeah, right. Uh, he's a b- p- pinnacle of truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And my asshole shits the tune of the Star Spangled Banner after I eat Mexican fajitas the night before. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. What do you, you can you, you can't you can't call lying when you're a Republican right now, you cannot call out lying on the other side. Yeah. Because well, there is so mu- really. Yeah. You know, we think that this is this is correct. What he's doing is fine. It's you just think it's co- you think it's correct that tonight they were chanting "lock her up again" at a Trump rally? It's a rally. You it's think ra- that's correct? It's it's a rally. When you he's know trying- what it incited in one nut job. Yeah, but what he's trying to do is incite people to go out and vote. It's a mob, is what it is. All rallies are. That's why I never even liked high school pep rallies, for Christ's sake. That's what it he's is. The only president who has done this. My anxiety levels would spike up even then as a teenager. Yeah. Well, you know, get used to the fact that he he's doesn't. He's a piece do things, of shit. But he doesn't do things the way other presidents did it. 
Yeah, yeah he well, does it. He, shit, he, that's why. He does it wrong. Yeah. He does it wrong. I, I love your idea shit. about I, how I he's, guess he's, he's, such, a, he's such a maverick, shit. Phil. He's such a fucking that. maverick. Hey, I guess you guys aren't going to vote for him in 2020. Yeah, I Vote for him. He's not depending on your vote. Yeah, he wasn't depending on those three million, four million other people who didn't vote for him. They just happened to have the misfortune of living in the wrong location. Yeah, they happened to be gerrymandered out of the election. Hey, that's the way. Uh, it goes. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry uh, mm -hmm. to the audience, but for a while there, my picture was obliterating a bit of uh, of, of Rob's face because I failed uh. to change the size of my <laughs> my window, and so um, the corner of my, the corner of my picture was going up his nose. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I uh, I showed this earlier. I'll show it again. I think it's worth showing. Uh, this is uh, this is your this is your president, uh, 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 Phil. Phil. <laughs> uh, his tweet today: Republicans are doing so well in early voting and at the polls, and now this bomb stuff happens. We this need to see bomb what happens stuff on happens. 7th. That's a new term I think we could use now. Bomb stuff happens. Yeah, uh, no shit. And, shit happens. And the momentum greatly, uh, greatly shows. News not taking politics, uh, very uh, talking politics. Very unfortunate what's going on. Republicans go out and vote. The only thing he could think of in all of this was the bomb stuff was getting him off of page one. Right, right. That's oh, yeah. all he could think about, that prick. Right. If we had a major terror attack, a foreign terror attack on our soil right now, mm -hmm. he would turn it around and make it about himself. Yeah, that's true. But we do have a terror attack coming up on our soil. They're about a thousand miles away right now. But it's they're, not a terror attack. Uh, you know, you have uh, a horde of people the that are trying to break people. into our borders illegally. Is that Why, a you think they're going to you think they're going to you think they're going to storm the border? You think that's what's going to happen? They, really? they, did, they did it in Mexico uh, when they we're uh, not Mexico. We have laws here. Well, there's uh, 800... contrary to what your president will tell you. We don't have we're a country of laws. Well, we have you know, you know soldiers, what, you, know what a lot of the, you know what a lot of the Mexicans are doing. Uh, hiring them about it. Yes, Jeff, <laughs> they're they're hiring them for. Jobs. And you know why? Because of the new NAFTA deal. Oh, you're admitting you're admitting admitting it's still NAFTA, and we just changed the name of it. I yeah, well, it's it's basically it, NAFTA, it, except that it, it it makes the Chinese uh, weaker on this deal wait a minute, because wait a minute, they wait a minute, have to wait a buy the Chinese. The Chinese have nothing to do with NAFTA. They have a lot to do with it because what was happening was that the amount of parts that they were buying. They were buying from China instead of U.S. parts. So now Mexican manufacturers have to use, I think, is it 75% U.S. parts in the automobiles that they build down there in order to uh, uh, be compliant with the New Deal. So uh, it's helping U.S. manufacturers. Boy, instead boy of that's, really gonna hurt, that's really going to hurt China, isn't it? It's going to help us. No, it's not. Yeah, look at companies like Delco and and so they're, you they're, watch, they're you watch. dead. No, no, shit ain't gonna happen. Okay, or as, as he puts it, uh, bomb stuff isn't. Yeah, gonna well, happen. we'll see. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, uh, Brian. The thing is, you know what? The thing is, uh, it's got me thinking to the point where I don't. Number one, I, I don't see anybody t being a, a good front runner for the uh, for the uh, Democratic presidency in 2020, and it's only got me as far as a happy compromise is concerned. Wise, uh, if we can get divided government again in 2018 and in 2020, I'll be I'll be content. I agree. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you're gonna end up with Bloomberg. No. Got two sides so? rubbing up against each other. If you know, oyster logic applies here. At least we'll get some pearls of legislation rather than a whole bipartisan or unipartisan effort from all three branches conspire, be they Demo Republican or Democrat, conspiring to fuck us in the ass. Because that's exactly oh, we'll I, see. I think we'll get nothing done legislatively, but what we will get is checks and balances on the nuts in the that, White House. I'll take it. I don't give a fuck. Well, uh, the reason Even I say Bloomberg instead of Trump, but you know, a Democratic Congress. So right. what? I, I don't give five-fingered fucks anymore. 
At I, least I, we don't. At least the 20, children are not completely in charge. Twenty-five also, going on twenty-six, or twenty-six going on twenty-seven versus thirty-seven. Thirty-six going on thirty-seven. I would have given a shit, but since I'm, you know, staring down at forty years of age with with a, a, a thin set of binoculars, uh, I just don't care. I think Nikki Haley may end up joining either Trump for VP, and and Pence may retire. What? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm he thinking wants to that be president. Pence, no, I don't think. Yeah. He does. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. I Come think he's on. poised to be president. I don't, I don't think he can win. Why? Uh, I just don't think he has enough uh, appeal. He's uh, too low energy. Like uh, you're seeing him in his radio days. No. Yeah, he's a broadcast professional. He knows how to handle an audience. Seemed yeah. pretty energetic in the clips I saw on that John Oliver program. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. You'll see it on go go on John Oliver and he'll he has a uh, he has the, a pro by the way, program he, he, on uh, Mike Pence by itself. It's twenty minutes uh, long. Uh, something that that hit me. Uh, Pence was a radio host. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And he has some clips. He shows yeah. shows you some clips of his radio days. Yeah. Shows, that, shows Alex. You think he's going to run for president? <laughs> yeah. But Alex isn't the vice president now, is he? Nor is he a Republican now, is he? No, but he, he'd be one if he could. Well, he isn't. Oh, I would it's never it's. be one, Phil. I would never yeah. be one. If I ever thought of becoming one, this new Republican Party is certainly not one that I would want to be a part of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. believe me, if I were. Bunch I'm of hypocrites. Person, but I'd shake shit up. Even you know, if somebody had a they, bullet with my name on it, I'd still shake shit up and not give a fuck. They all were against Trump. I mean, all of them. Exactly. Uh, and, but the only reason they're on the bandwagon right now is he's got support, and uh, amongst the Republican Party, he's got uh, very good re approval right. ratings. And, 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 and so they don't give a damn about what they're doing to the country in the interim because they're getting their tax breaks and all they're, that. Yeah, but you see, they're just as, they're as bad as, they're all terrible. No because question about it. what we're looking for is yeah, the, best the best offices, the best offices in, in, in the, in the oh, Congress. Among other things. You know. Remember the remember the line from uh, what was it Blazing Saddles when uh, when uh, the mayor Lepetamain uh, Mel Brooks was work 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 we got to protect our phony baloney jobs well, yeah. <laughs> what it is exactly yeah. what it is. exactly plus what that it is. quote I see on Facebook that uh, I guess if it happened you know Samuel Clemens Mark Twain politicians are like diapers and they both need changed for the same reason. <laughs> Stink. <laughs> They're full of shit. That's why we need term limits. <laughs> Yeah. The 22nd Amendment, we need a 28th, a 29th, and a 30th Amendment, if you read my post Facebook postings. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it's... Um, by the way, speaking of Facebook... Yeah, yeah. I've been looking online on how to temporarily disable my Facebook page. Why? Well, because I see no... You know, you, you don't do Facebook anymore, Rob. So no. You, uh, why, are, why are you asking why? You should I know. I that. Well, no, yeah. I mean because you have like five thousand followers. I have a lot of respect for you for that alone. Yeah, but bro. supposedly if I if I if I took it off for a time being and come back on, the five thousand are still, you know. Ah, uh, but you yeah. gotta you gotta turn it off and you gotta dis you gotta delete it. You gotta no. you gotta pull the trigger. You no, gotta delete no, it. No, you don't delete it. I can. I, oh, you, I deleted it. Oh yeah, but you can turn it off. Oh, I did with my MySpace. You can. There's, you can. There's, there's, you you go back. If you don't delete it, you can I guarantee you can, it. You can yeah. disable it. So I yeah, I know you can, but you, you then you go right ahead in a week and you'll re-enable it if you don't delete I, it. I've got to disable the messenger. The addictive part of your brain, it just reactivates itself. Once you press that delete button, there's a feeling of like a weight lifted off of you. But Rob, you ever see, again, hearkening to a South Park episode where uh, Stan uh, tries to do that and he finds out that he's in like this Tron Facebook universe and that the Facebook profile has adopted a, a life and a con conscious and a whatever <laughs> of its own. You ever see that episode? No. That's kind of what it's like. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, like today, I, I put up, uh, I don't know if you heard me read it earlier, this Chuck Bloor vanity card that he ran at the yeah. end of his shows this week. And it was very good. It was fun. Uh, it was interesting. I thought I'd put it up on my Facebook page. And the kind of trolls that jumped in on it were just, nobody was talking about it. No, they were just either attacking it or they were going, yay. You know? And I, just, I took the whole thing off. I just said, fuck it. I don't need this. You know? Don't give them anything. I, I only post some pictures. Uh, you know, I don't let anybody post to my Facebook thing. Uh, because oh, if they I do, you know, 
<laughs> yeah. But isn't, isn't that the whole idea of it, though? So if you're going to cut it down to that and not post anything and not let people post, why don't you just you know delete what? it? No, I'll, Get just, I'll, 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 I'll just use it. I'll just use it. I'll just use it as a PR vehicle, run my videos right. of the shows every night there, and that's it. You know, but I'm through and making comments because. I just don't like the dialogue that comes afterwards. If it was a respectful back and forth, fine. But then all of a sudden, somewhere in the middle, two guys start having a pissing match with each other, and that goes on for about 40 lines. But Alex, like, they're the only people a, in the fucking world. You're a public world. figure. You're a public figure. You're going to get that if you allow people to post to it. I, there's a lot of public figures. Well, then I don't. Then I don't. Then I don't. Then I don't have. Then I don't have to. Happen. Happen. Don't have to it happened to me too when I was on Facebook. You get into. You get in. You see somebody posted something, and you feel strongly enough that you're going to rebut, and it gets into this whole thing, and it escalates, and it's. I began to just dislike myself for it, so because I'm really opinionated. I mean, there was this pissing match going back and forth between two guys for about 40, 40 lines in this in this uh, thread, and I'm going, yeah. you know, come on, this is not worth it. You know, it's not worth it to the people who want to read the replies. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey. I, I, I've had Tony today, I've got about 45, 50 uh, posts before 8 o'clock in the morning, my time. So I told him, I said, too many texts, block is coming, you must stop texting by 10 a.m. your time. He says, okay, don't block. I said, then don't text. <laughs> well, I, uh, today I uh, unblocked him again, hoping yeah. he will be okay. But if he's not, he's blocked. He, he, and I'm going to. He's usually fine for about three and weeks. And 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 I'm going to block him from the page too. Yeah. You know, <laughs> not just messaging. Yes, Brian. Well, dovetail. Well, I want to ask you for um, about Tony later, but uh, dovetailing what you said. Uh, Believe me, I uh, can't explain Tony, so don't ask me any questions. <laughs> but, but dovetailing what you were talking about, Facebook, what Bill was talking about, with his, why he doesn't uh, allow anybody to comment on his page, and you know the topic of. Uh, Terror, earlier topic of terrorism, both foreign and domestic. Um, I'm just, I'm surprised it hasn't happened already, but it wouldn't surprise me if it happened within the next five or ten years. You know, somebody sends you some kind of virus through social media where it compels you to strike a key and like 150,000 or 200,000 volts, for example, is shot through your body and uh, you just drop dead by the keyboard right then and there. I'm surprised that hasn't happened. That, that something like that hasn't it, happened. It, some uh, brilliant uh, hack. Fortunately, hasn't it's tech, it, to fortunately it. only you come up with this idea. It, fortunately, <laughs> it's it's oh, it's not technically. I doubt I'm the only one. Hold that. on, it's not technically possible, right, Rob? Right. Yeah, that's that, right. That's yeah. that's. You know the what thing with that? Facebook. What was is, that? Uh, what was it? That was uh, oh, the my, cat's died. That was uh, my my old lady cat just jumped off the couch, and the the, the two year old decided I'm going to jump on her. And so <laughs> I jumped on her. Oh, by the way, I got to tell you a great story. Got to tell you a great story. Yesterday I went over and I spent the afternoon with uh, my friend uh, uh, Jack Garfine, yeah. and uh, he has this cat we love because we babysit the cat. Her name is Berta. So, of course, I come over, and Berta always recognizes me, and, you know, she she didn't recognize me completely because I was wearing a new pair of shoes, so she sniffed them. She had to reacclimate herself to who I was. But once she did, she was, you know, wonderful, cute, uh, adorable Berta. Now, she does something. They have a bathroom there, right off the, uh, off the living room, right? And uh, uh, it, the door is closed, and the next thing I notice, the door is open. And I said, Jack, where's Bert? Is she in the bathroom? And he says, yeah, she just went into the bathroom. And the next thing I do when I look over, the door is closed. And I hear scratching going on in her cat box. What she did was she opened the door, went in, and then to have some privacy, closed the door behind her. Now tell uh, me that isn't bright. Uh, you know th that kind of behavior. What do they call it when you assign uh, 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 behavior, human behavior, to animals? Anthropomorphic. 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 Yeah. Anthropomorphic. Uh, 
you know, that may be all this is, is, uh, you know, the no, I'll tell you what. no, I think I'll what you, it is. I'll tell you what, my cat, when I, when I sit in my office during the day and we have this robot vacuum that goes around and I, it's noisy and I'm trying to concentrate and I close the doors. I have French doors leading to my office. And if my young cat Jack is in there with me and he wants to get out, he looks up and starts to try to grab for the handle. I'm telling you, they know. Yeah, they know. I mean, I had one one cat years ago that was my girlfriend's cat, and I used to go over and babysit it while she was in in Greece. And I would try to go to sleep, and the cat would, uh, I'd close the door so the cat couldn't come in. The cat knew how to turn the knob. And come in. They, they and then, get up there. And then, get okay, up there. so then I go, okay, if you want to come in, come in. You can come sleep on the bed, whatever you're going to do. And I'm then I'm trying to go to sleep. And slower. all of a sudden, out of a clear blue sky, her clock radio goes off. <laughs> and I go, how did that happen? So I turn off the clock radio, and I start going back to sleep, and the clock radio goes back <laughs> on. And I look over, and the cat is sitting on the clock radio. So I turn the clock radio off, and then I start watching the cat, and the cat's moving its foot around until it finds the button and hits the button to wake me up again. Now, tell tell me that's anthropomorphic. That is just a smart fucking cat. Well, you know, dogs, for instance, I, I used to babysit my very good friend's dog, who was a service dog, and uh, we would tie a, uh, a piece of cloth to the doorknob, which was uh, like a handle that you could uh, pull. It wasn't a, a, a circular thing. And uh, the dog would take the piece of material in, in his mouth and pull on it and open the door. Uh, it, it, you know, it was amazing, you know, what you can teach a dog, but I didn't well, think my, you could teach it. My, ex, my ex-girlfriend. You can't teach a cat to do that on command. Well, my, ex, but my ex- cats are smarter than dogs. They'll learn to do that stuff on their own. Where with dog, you say, "Do this," they do I'll it. Tell you do that, this, my ex-girlfriend on her webs on her Facebook page has a video she took, and I think she should probably post the thing all over the internet because it's hilarious. She has trained one dog likes to hold the leash, so she <laughs> puts the leash in her mouth and walks the other dog. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. That's yeah, I'm, tr- cool. I'm trying to get my dog just to grab the leash and bring it to me. Uh, so far, I haven't been no, successful. No. But anyway, um, uh, so, you know, um, I don't know. I just, hey, hey, we don't hear about Baron Trump very often, do we? Well, good. Yeah. He doesn't he's want to he's 11, 12-year-old kid. Leave him alone. I think he's a retard. Uh, he thinks the same thing about you. I, I think he's off limits until he's 18. He's off limits until he's 18? Okay. Yeah. All right. I, 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 you, so you, you're you're making a serious statement that you think there's something wrong with him mentally. I think so. Yeah. There has slow been speculation. Yeah. 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 The kid and, stands there. He doesn't make any noises. He makes less faces uh, than let, Brian. Let me let me bring know. up something because you're right. We shouldn't pick on the kid, but the, you know where is he and and what is there a problem there? Because once he turns eighteen and makes statements as ignorant as his older siblings or half siblings, then he's fair game and the well, clothes can come off. But until his, they, no, look at his mother. His mother doesn't say much. You know, and I got a feeling that he takes after the mother when it comes to personality wise. She's She's very, you know, you know. I think there's a lot of similarity, and uh, she's a person of very. He looks a lot like his dad, but he probably behaves a lot like his mother. Yeah, Yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he spends a lot of time with. And I gotta say, you know, seventies and early eighties Trump. I don't think he was that bad looking. No, not at all. He just doesn't. He just didn't take care of himself. And now we see the bloated, pimple, pustule, Cheeto that he is now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he's banging Playboy bunnies, and we're not. That's because he's, got <laughs> he's, not, he's not banging them anymore. That was a long time ago, Phil. He's not banging them anymore. Hey, yeah. neither am I. <laughs> well, twelve years ago, he was paying well, what? What's her fucking face? Uh, Stormy Daniels. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who would want to sleep with him now, except the guy who owns a white van down in Florida. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'd love to. He'd be a bottom too. I bet he's a glorified bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Bunny bitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, he, I, I just saw pictures of uh, him on Facebook, 
before I called into this program where he was like a member of a, a gym membership or whatever, and he was. Oh, he's a big or, bodybuilder guy. He's yeah, huge. he's probably one of the, like I'm saying, he's probably one of those glorified bottom gym bunny bitch boys. Well, he's he's, he's, uh, uh, he's part he's part Filipino. Yes, uh, he's half Filipino, half. He's gay for Trump though, yeah. bro. Well, he may be, but he's he, one of his big problems in life is that he's he is lonely and women are not attracted. Oh, he's an incel to him. then. He's one of those incels. Not a very smart incel. At least some of the other incels that uh, we've heard from, they've actually gone through and committed quite a, a great deal of murders, like that uh, kid, like 10 years younger than myself, who did back in 2014. Uh, again, the testable urge you, to you know, if, being, if but he's he, got my respect it, because he's smarter than that cocksucker. Let's be honest about this. Had this guy gotten laid, he'd be sending bombs to Scott Bale. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. He couldn't even get the lesbian to get in his van, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, uh, uh, all I'm saying is, uh, uh, if it was uh, down by the river, I, th I think it. I think we have to take our hats off to the FBI because they figured this one out pretty damn fast. The damn yeah. deep state. Hey, yeah. Pence and Trump said they were going to put everything into it that they could to get this guy. And oh, it's they Pence did. and Trump who did it. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah P P Pence and Trump did it. They put Pence the fire Trump under the it. FBI. Hey, yeah. this guy Sayo is thanking Pence and Trump for catching him so quickly. Yeah. When Sessions announced <laughs> that he could be facing 58 years in prison, I wonder if he said that with a winced, grimaced expression on his face. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think... Uh, I, I, you know, this was... Don't worry, you're white. We'll find ways to get you yeah, out. You don't think that this guy will go to prison for life? Why 58 years? That's what they say, 58 years. Yeah, he didn't kill anybody. It's 50, no. 52 now, so... Terrorist threats against the president? Uh, there, you were, know, there, were, president? Uh, there wasn't a terrorist threat against the president. Yeah. No. no. Two former presidents. Two former presidents, not the president, not Trump. Well, you no, know, no, Obama was threat. not my president. We don't no, have a. It was, uh, it was we don't threats have, for the president. We don't have yeah. a, uh, a, a. We don't have a, 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 a domestic terrorism law, like we do for. Nine eleven you know, foreign terrorism. We don't have a necessarily a a a, a, stra a a law for that that says it's life in prison or whatever. Yeah. Well, we don't well, know how to know, deal with when it when they tried to assassinate uh, Reagan. Uh, the, the, what did that guy get? Uh, well, he actually shot the president. Yeah. So wait a minute, wait a minute. He history. was the one that was doing Thank it for you. Jody Foster. Excuse me. That was the guy yeah. that was doing it for Jody Foster. Not uh, yeah. not the one who killed Lennon. The guy who yeah, killed well, Lennon was, was uh, doing it for? inspired by Catcher in the Rye, but he was also yeah. a kooky, funny fucking Christian. Yeah, well, these guys are crazy. You know, they're, they're nuts. But what you do is you don't do anything that's going to give them a sense of permission to do to, to play out their insanity. That's right. Uh, and and pr Trump gives a sense of permission. There's no question about it. You can't deny it, Phil. He's his own words. You he's get a white news. van. You get a white van. You get a white van. I could use a white van for cargo <laughs> deliveries and shit, so you wouldn't be punishing me, pal. No, no, but I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, you just don't give a sense of permission. You have to, that's how you, your job, your number one job as president of the United States is to protect the American public. Which he says, he and then he, he talked, really? Yeah. You yeah. know, I, I, you know, if you can't tell the difference between reality and showmanship, uh, uh, you know, geez, that's too bad. Uh, Phil, uh, Phil, I happen to be, I happen, I happen much more than you to be in show business. Okay, I think we both agree on that. All right. Yeah. And I think I All know right, what deep, I think I, I, I think I know what showmanship is, and he doesn't have an ounce of it. And where's your star on the Walk of Fame? Uh, I wasn't a movie actor or a television yeah. star. All right. Well, he is, and that's what he does. Yes, and he gets pissed on every week. Yeah, somebody keeps knocking it, you know, taking it up, but yeah. that's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, but the but, thing is, that's what that's what he does. He's a he's a uh, he's a promotions guy. You know, yeah, well, and that, uh, that, he's that, out there and he's trying to but, promote but that's, his that's, uh, con man. Yeah, he's but that's not what he's that's, a shyster. that's not what we want as a president. We want somebody. it's what you got. It's true. You know, I got to tell it, you, stock, you stock market, by the way, took another hit again today. Uh, good. Yesterday, I thought it went up four hundred. You don't want to hear that, Alex? No, no it went up four hundred yesterday. Went down the same today. <laughs> well, somebody needs money. 
Somebody burn, made money. Burn it to the ground. I just made 819 bucks because at once a year, Prudential has to sell off part of my 401k because I'm, it's like a couple of percentages. Uh, yeah. Because I'm the over seventy, I'm over seventy-five. Uh, but uh, I'm glad they did pay do it because that stock keeps going down. Like the series is starting to tank, like uh, like the Titanic. Well, maybe yeah. it's time to move it into something a little more secure. Well, no, like because it, it, like it, rock. I've or I've, uh, I I can move stuff out of my out of my Vanguard without paying any taxes on it. But I have to pay taxes on everything that comes out of the. Uh, Prudential, which, by the way, they took taxes out of the check. It was for like a thousand bucks. Yeah. Yeah. There's some guy with a podcast uh, that uh, hawks. Uh, he's a right wing guy, uh, and he hawks gold. Uh, he was a. He was a. Uh, they are, no, no, no. Hartman. This guy yeah. was a, a Clinton uh, 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 advisor, and then he went to the right. Uh, I think he was the guy that. He, Dick Morris. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, and that's so, it. Robin of Ark. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, he's he's hawking gold. Or as Fred Savage of all people used to call him back when I used to be a Republican, or at least be more sympathetic to it. He used to call him Tricky Dick Morris. Yeah. Just like well, he used to call Bill O'Reilly the the leprechaun. Oh, yeah, Dick well, Morris. Dick Morris is an asshole. Oh, yeah. Great. He sounds like one. He looks like a dick. He sounds like an asshole. Yeah. yeah well, he's hawking Those gold right now. You know, maybe that's not such a bad, uh, such a bad thing. Let me at, at let me moment. ask uh, let me ask uh, because Kevin's been rather quiet. Kevin, uh, what do you think mm-hmm. about the uh, uh, the guy in the white van? The fucking whack job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the I saw the uh, I saw him when they picked up the van and all that stuff today. It it really didn't surprise me. How much coverage did you guys watch of this? It was uh, on all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I watched a lot of it. I wanted to see what, how they were going to, you know, the same thing. I flipped between channels. I watched oh. CNN first, and then I said, ah, it was kind of boring. And then I went to, uh, to Fox, and well, they I, just, can I tell you the they only, were just amazing. The only really exciting thing about it all, did any of you see, they took a shot of, I don't know, it was like a room where they were working on the case. And they were working on pieces of paper and things like that and so on. And there was this blonde FBI agent who was working. Yeah, uh, at, at the AutoZone store, yeah. At the, was it the AutoZone store? Yes, that's where it was. Yeah. Did you see her? Yeah. Uh, didn't she look like somebody you would cast as an FBI, female FBI agent for a TV <laughs> kind of series? kind of like a, a, a CSI uh, uh, episode or something. Yeah, but, but an actress that you would hire to play a, a sexy CSI exactly. agent. Right. I was saying the same thing. Yeah, I was sitting and there. Then they would cut, and then they would cut to Hildebrand and go, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, all I know is I saw her there, and I said to girlfriend, I said, she's hot. I said, I, yeah, you know, she looks damn. like she was cast for the part, you know. Go on. Investigate me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then she turned around and looked towards the camera because I figured, ah, well, she's got nice blonde hair, but she probably has a horse like a mule. And no, she was really good looking. Uh. Uh, so then, of course, the other male part of me take, um, comes into play, you know, because I can't have her, okay? And mm. that was, well, she's probably a lesbian. <laughs> 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 you know? <laughs> Uh, uh, so I, I, I went shooting this morning. I uh, had to qualify for my uh, concealed weapons permit. Uh, oh, you see, well, because you you take photographs, and when you said shooting, I figure you went out with your camera. There were some ducks or uh, something on the. Uh, I got uh, I got certified. Now I got to take these in and uh, get my uh, new ID. But. Uh, so I was with a bunch of retired cops this what, morning. What, are they, what do they certify you with? That you can you can hit a target or something or what? Yeah, I have to shoot a course of fire uh, that uh, they designate, and if I'm accurate enough, then uh, you pass, and uh, they sign your thing off. They also inspect your gun and make sure that you haven't altered the safeties and things like that, and that it functions properly. Yeah. Well, that's but exciting. The, yeah, it God, was. It I was wish fun. I went. I wish I'm sorry I wasn't out there to go with you. That would have been an exciting morning for me. 
Yeah, well, you know, it was with uh, people I haven't seen in 15 years, it was uh, it was actually fun. Yeah, okay. Ah, big yawn. Anyway. She have asked us to go. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you know, you, you want to go shooting? Come on out. So, you know, we, we really, we've been spared all the, uh, they have this guy over at MSNBC, his name is Steve Kornacki, and he's got a big whiteboard, and he sits there telling you he's, he's, he, he, he's a statistician, or he pretends like he is. He has his sleeves rolled up and doesn't wear a jacket, okay? That's, that means he, he's got to be a good statistician, right? Kind of like Ben Beck used to do, huh? And, and he, yeah, and he sits there, and he, and, he, and he tells you, well, here in this state, and this is a problem, and here we could go with this. I haven't seen him in the last week since this thing began because they really aren't covering the midterms which thank god they aren't because quite frankly i was getting a little bored with the whole thing because it was the same thing every day one day they'd say oh the democrats are in bad shape and the next day they'd say oh the democrats are in good shape that was bad i don't think they know you know nobody knows i i I think the the only thing they know is that the guy who made the bombs has a white van other than that, they have no idea who's going to win. Now they're talking about New Jersey being up for grabs. They're talking about uh, West Virginia well, New being Jersey up for grabs. Well, New Jersey should be up for grabs because that guy in New Nobody Jersey. Nobody wants West Virginia. It, no, Joe Manchin does. He wants it badly enough to fuck us Democrats, fuck the Democrats in the ass to uh, to uh, turn tone coat and vote for a rapist. Yeah. For support justice. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, come on. He's my nomination for Fuck Face of the Year Award 2018. If you don't believe me, I even made a meme of his face. Well, Joe Manchin, he, 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 he was a screaming coward is what he was. You know, he thought about his own position more importantly than his own morality. How yeah. about his the people that he represents wanted this? And he voted uh, the way his the, his electorate. They, they don't know what his people. To. They don't know what his people wanted. You're in that state, right, uh, Rob? No, different West state. Virginia? Huh? Oh. West Virginia? No, Rob, Rob, Rob has teeth. I got my teeth all in there. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. All right. You, you mean you're not burning coal in your fireplace, sir? Hell no. Yep. Okay. Or, or meth. <laughs> You're not playing over that too, or playing a banjo in your backyard. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyway, anyway, even though my wife is not my sister, even though it was West Virginia that rebelled from Virginia and uh, you That's know right. with the Union, it now resembles something like Mississippi more than Virginia does, and seems to be more cosmopolitan. Yeah. But anyway, um, oh. uh, That's uh, ironic. The, uh, <laughs> you know, the point is that we haven't heard that much about it lately. And uh, we're about a week away now from the uh, from the midterms. What's funny is, I don't mean to interrupt, but it's what's funny about it, West Virginia. I know people who live there. I know family members who live there because we border them. Pennsylvania borders West Virginia. But nevertheless, uh, I told the guy who was bitching about Joe Manchin, who voted for him reluctantly, said, I'll, I'll hold my nose and vote for him again in the general election. But I don't like what he did as far as uh, Kavanaugh is concerned. I said, well, sir. Did you vote for Paula Jean Swearingen when she ran against uh, when she ran against Joe Manchin? Of course, he wouldn't say anything. But cocksuckers usually don't. They don't even admit that, that that they made a mistake. I'll admit when I made a mistake, but he didn't even say that. And so I said, "Yeah, that's what I thought. You had your shot, and you fucking blew it. Much like most of the other, much like the rest of the state." Yeah, but uh, what's going on in New Jersey is you've got what's his name? Uh, who's the guy? Uh, 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 the uh, the Mexican name? No, uh, he's a Jew. Uh, yeah, but it sounds Mexican. Uh, Menendez. 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 Uh, Menendez. I mean, he's he, Jewish. Yeah, I think so. Menendez. I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, he, okay. We got enough problems. He isn't a Jew. Okay. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I guess at the very worst, he's a kikey spick. But fun. anyway, I mean, the Republicans a piece of shit too. No, but the fact it. is that this guy is a sleaze ball of all sleaze balls, you know. Uh, and uh, so I think his seat is kind of up for grabs uh, because you well, should he, see he, you should see the was, advertising. He was censured. That, yeah, he was censured, but he wasn't convicted of anything. No, he, he was put on trial though. Yeah, and they uh, it was a mistrial or a, a hung. Uh, uh, they decided not to go after him again. Right. So you know, so, basically. So basically, he snuck out of that. But the fact yeah. is, the guy is a sleaze ball, and so I mean, if he loses that state, while I, you know, he deserves to, because you know, he's he's a he, he, it's a prick. 
you know, but you know, I, but I I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in the Senate. Hopefully, the Congress will flop over. Okay, I don't think it's going to. Uh, you don't. You know, want, I know. You, you don't. No, want, I, you, I think that the uh, you, you Republicans don't. are probably going to hold on to it by maybe two seats. God, God help this country if that happens. God help this country. Well, a lot more will get done. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so, well, a lot will get done. I agree with you. But it'd be all the 100%, wrong stuff getting done. One hundred percent. A lot done. of it will get Don't done. Don't you in this believe that the one be ripped the, apart for another four years? Wonderful thing and is that democracy. Six cents uh, dildo being used to fuck us in the ass. Don't you think the best democracy is one in which there is uh, uh, difference of opinion and where uh, there's checks and balances, Phil, rather than checks everybody agreeing on one concept. one track? Hey, I I believe you take a check. <laughs> you know, uh, what nah, the fuck are you saying? Yeah, Don't there you should be checks and balances, and that's why you have a Congress, and that's why you have a Senate, and that's why you have a Supreme Court. Well, that, Those and, are the checks and balances. And the reason they're not checking and balancing this guy. No, they're checking and balancing with the majority of people that voted. Uh, and you know, they uh, these these areas they voted for more Republicans. Than Democrats, no, so therefore no, they got gerrymandered. That's in the majority. They got gerrymandered, Phil. Well, it's been gerrymandered for a long time, and there's been a no, you know, no. This new what, gerrymandered. What about? I'll give you a what have about. Have you ever seen gerrymandered? Have you ever seen? 15... Have you ever seen maps of gerrymandered uh, gerrymandered uh, uh, districts? Oh God! It's like no. they go around a corner and then they make a sharp right, and then they. I mean, it's it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Yeah, well, you know how how could the house have been democratic for f over fifty years from the time that uh, people were uh, FDR yeah. was president? Because people were uh, smarter. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. Well, I kind of less selfish. Less selfish. We were more yeah. about America, about the greater good of America, and not uh, about. What, well, your own also, pocket. Also, a greater. Really, also, no let me say this. Let me say this. Shut up. Shut ahead. up a second, Phil. Uh, uh, we it, it, at that time there was a larger working class. Yeah. Okay. Or people who considered themselves the working class, and that working class people were who always, were having their work were always they, very yeah, democratic. China, but now today it's kind unions of unions for a good honest day's pay. Yeah. Yeah. You but, made a decent living. Yeah. So I mean, it wasn't but, the sexiest work, but at least it was work that put food on the table and put yeah, a roof over. But their now we don't exactly have a working class anymore, or people who want to admit they're part of the working class, and so therefore some people will vote Republican just to think they're part of the club, although they're not part of the club. They're just a bunch of schlubs like they always were. They're like the dogs at the dinner table jumping up and down, hoping that the scraps will fall in their direction. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe it's the people that and are by the tired way, and by the of, way, of the Democrats by, by, by buying the, By the way, Phil, you're one of those people. Yeah. Oh. And proud to be one. But you said about gerrymandering. Mm -hmm. It lends credence to what I say. I don't trust direct democracy any more than I trust the gerrymandered electoral college system that we have. I am actually in favor of a compromise. I say let the counties be counted. Instead of it being 270 votes needed to secure a presidency, half make it be half or whatever it would be equivalent-wise, mathematically speaking, of the 1,100 and some counties that exist in the country. I Isn't say, I say, you you take you take a vote, and the person who gets the most votes wins. But that's a that's a. Uh, uh, I the, say move the, to the Sweden. popular vote is is just not. I don't see it being secure. Because I don't feel, I mean, and uh, Phil, Rob, you probably agree with me on this. Do you feel your vote counts? Well, it, 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 in, I guess in a I president, do in a let way, me say, let me except say it, for the president, yeah. but like um, you, my state voted my way. Well, the more local your the most more local you get in your elections, like congressmen and mayors and things like that, governors, yes, your vote does count. When it comes to the presidential race, your vote doesn't count. It's like all watered down into no. a handful of votes. Your vote and my vote don't count, but uh, there's several others that do. Like what? Tyrants have been elected by popular vote before. 
And additionally, when you have you have, and the and the right is right about this. People like Phil are right about this, and Patrick. You'd have New York, Dallas, Chicago, and uh, Los Angeles deciding who our president would be, rather than uh, you know. You mean people with an education, maybe? Just remember. Well, there are people who are That's bigoted. Hitler. That's not bigoted. That's not bigoted because if you have an education, you don't live in West Virginia. You can't get a job in West Virginia. That's not bigoted. That's a fact. We need West Virginia as much as we need West Virginia to be as productive as we need. As we need. That's that's a separate point. I'm talking about when, when you when you're when you're living on a farm surrounded by 2,000 people in a, a wide area of space and you don't have any kind of real education as opposed to people who live in metropolitan areas who are well educated. Then I it's suppose a, it's the responsibility of story. people who are educated and live in those metropolitan areas to educate those people who live in those West Virginia farmlands. Would be nice, but nobody wants to pay for it, right? The well, Democrats it's start pay somewhere. For it. Uh, it's the Democrats would pay for it. The Republicans don't want to pay for it. You, you know how they get educated? Let them grow pot. You know, you know what? I'll take this side. I think you're on to something there. Yeah. Legalize weed nationwide. Never going to tax happen. it. We're too well, uptight too of a nation for that. Yeah. What's too that? uptight. No, well, they're having a good time yeah, up in Canada. Up you know. So. We're way too uptight for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I just think that uh, that. Uh, let the stock market crash and burn first, and let the fucking let the fucking anarchists uh, grow in number. Myself among them. I'm just a trigger man. And uh, but uh, let somebody let somebody tell me. Uh, let somebody tell me. Okay, pull the trigger. Oh, somebody, yeah, somebody yeah. just wrote here on the, on the change. Here, somebody, hey. wrote, somebody wrote here on the chat uh, room that uh, Menendez is Cuban. Okay, but he's not. Is he Jewish? I guess not. But you can be Cuban and Jewish. Probably, yeah, absolutely. He's probably, more than likely, he's probably Catholic and yeah. Cuban. Um, yeah. But um, uh, you know, you could be. You could be. Uh, uh, I think there were a lot. Of, well, anyway. Um, uh, well, you know, it's interesting that you were talking about you know people voting and winning and so on. I mean, Hitler won an election by the popular vote. By the popular vote. Said. By the popular See, vote. How, how did that work for your popular vote? Well, I know, yeah, right. Yeah, You're right, Phil. Uh, how did and, that work? And, you know, I That's talked, to my, talking again, about. I talked yes. to my friend Jack Garfine, who's a, 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 a survivor. Holocaust survivor. Just and like he says, he says what's so scary to me is I've, it, what's so scary to me is I've seen this all before. You know? And uh, he finds it very reminiscent of what went on in Germany, what's going on in this country right now. You talk about controversy, election controversy. From what I understand, JFK only won the popular vote over Nixon and secured the presidency by like two hundred, less than three hundred, less than three hundred people, less than no, three hundred no, votes. No, and no, those no, were no, dead people no, in no, Chicago. No, hold on a second. It was two hundred people in Chicago. Was, yeah, uh, yeah. Less yeah. Than it, was, it wasn't by two hundred people because he won by much more uh, nationally. But it was in Chicago where it was. But I saw the uh, in the in the Atlas, uh, uh, the U.S. Atlas and World Report, one of those publications, uh, the tally of the popular vote nationwide. It was by less than it was by less than 300 people. Is there any truth to the fact that those people in Chicago were dead? Now and, I'm not uh, going to. Somebody can fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure what I, I'm pretty sure of what I saw. He only won the popular vote by less than 300 people. Nationwide. We've just been joined just, by we just been joined by Tony, by the way. Why is it uh, last last it, night we had a royal flush and tonight, you know, you think Friday night we get the most people, but who knows? Who cares? Well now they'll come on because Tony's here. Yeah, well, they, of course. Of course. Uh, I, I just uh, you know, I mean, um uh, it's uh, it's it's scary. It's all very scary, and I think this country is very capable of, of voting for a Hitler. Okay, I don't think that's... Once you get into a mob mentality, and that's what Trump is creating with these damn rallies, is a mob mentality. He's taking it from the playbook, from the Adolf Hitler playbook with those rallies. I cannot believe that people do not see attacking the press as as detrimental to this country. I do not understand it. Yeah. He's uh, being attacked by the press oh. as well. Because the he attacks the press. In his paranoid reverie, Phil. Well, he, hold on, he hold he on, used, Phil. Phil, the whole, used, show, the whole show isn't about you, okay? Uh, there are other people here. So, you know, uh, uh, just 
hold it down a little bit. You don't have to answer to every question that comes up. Okay. You know, uh, the point is, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that uh, uh, we are, uh, this country is to me very capable of voting for a Hitler if Hitler came along. Uh, I have no doubt about it. Uh, and and uh, it, it's because, and, and this idea, this idea that you have, Phil, now you can join me because I've mentioned your name. Oh, God, it's like Beetlejuice. The fact that you, you talk about, uh, about well, they attack him. No, they didn't attack him. They just reported him. And in his paranoid reverie, he thinks he's being attacked. Because he's so egotistical that if anybody doesn't agree with him 100% or doesn't report him as he sees himself to be, he feels he's being attacked. The pr you want my answer? The press are a bunch of whores. They got him elected, and now they're, now they're pissed that they, that they got used <laughs> by him, and now they're attacking him. Yeah. And uh, Bill, they're trying. You don't think he opens his mouth enough? I mean, you could really go back. If, if, if you had. Uh, a, year, a couple of years worth of tape, audio or videotape, you can edit so many video without without doing anything untoward to edit it. He says the wackiest shit. Hey, he to, gets to, away with the craziest stuff that he is the fucking president of the United States. They're going to report this yeah. stuff. I mean, how are you going to not report He's not, him they're saying... They're not making shit up. He's saying And this now stuff. this bomb stuff happens. Come on. Everybody's going to so make like, a joke about that. He said it before that shit. They caught the guy, and he said, oh, I'm going to reunite, uh, reunite everybody. And then 15 minutes later, he was at a rally talking shit again. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. He does it every fucking time. Come on, Come the on. guy is—he's—he's he's unhinged. You know, he had one chance this time. Oh, well, now Phil's walking away. Well, he's had a few yeah. chances. <laughs> <laughs> just it, it, some batteries. He had, he had one <laughs> chance. He had oh, one chance. Oh, he parted. He's got to light a match. He won no, batteries. <laughs> once he had one chance this time to be presidential, to in a time of crisis in this country to bring the country together. He's had a chance before when that lady was killed by those... Uh, even all right, so even George Bush went and got on the pile and gave a, a speech, pathology. you know, and he was not my favorite president, okay, but still right. he did something. Right. This president yeah, has mean, done nothing... I, I kept waiting for that to happen today, and he never, ever did it. He, 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 he doesn't he have the capability. He stood, yeah. He stood in front of those the, think... the black guys, the the group of black kids, the leaders of the black or whatever, at, at the in the East Room, and he started to say something. I'm going, okay, maybe he's going to do it this time, and he did it for about ten seconds, and then they all started and, the rally. And the only and was, time he I, does I, it, I looked at his face and I went, that's freaking Hitler standing there, and he's got that smile on his face, and I know he's looking at him, going, you little, look at you, you're all just cheering for me. Look at that. Look at I got you all wrapped around my finger, and then they cut away. Yeah. And then later on, he's at another rally, and he's going, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it for you guys in the back, but here we are. I'm not going to say it, but you know, you know, and he's egging them on. What but the fuck? As powerful as he is and as, in, and as uh, uh, charismatic as he is, maybe Trump is still following in the footsteps you don't of think, like, the demagogues. You know, you know what I think and happens? I've seen Rush Limbaugh okay, okay. and, uh, and uh, yeah. Ann Coulter. Uh, don't, you, people. don't you think that there is somebody in his cadre who keeps saying to him, now's the time for you to be presidential? And he says, yeah, okay, they put it on he, the he says, okay, he write it. it. They put it on a teleprompter. And then when he reads it, he doesn't read it like he means it. He right. reads it like he resents having to read it. He's like a yeah. kid who's asked to recite in class who really doesn't want to recite in class. That's, That's how exactly he exactly what speech. happened today. And you yep. could tell he was reading it, and then he walked away, and he didn't have to read something after that, and he just mouthed his, he ran his mouth. Yep. As soon as uh -huh. he gets on how, what happened during? I didn't see it. I know that he was having a meeting with uh, some black Republicans, young black Republicans. What uh, what happened during that meeting? That was what's yeah. his name's group. Uh, uh, the 
are Kanye? No, no. <laughs> black leadership. Uh, uh, totally. But no, but what's his name? The black, uh, his black uh, cabinet member. Uh, oh, 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 the guy who used to be like doctor, the doctor. The doctor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ben Carson. Ben yeah. Carson. The guy he he ripped apart in the. Uh, yeah. Ben yeah. Carson. In ben, the, ben, in the uh, debates. This, this was like Ben Carson's group. It was a black and the whole or the whole thing looked so token. It was ridiculous. Oh, like everybody there was a token black. It was ridiculous, and he stood up there, and he, and he listened to them, and they're all, USA, USA, and he's just standing there with a smile on his face like, like you little goodness. fuckers, you're listening to me, aren't you, you little yeah. fuckers? And I could say some more words, but I won't. Yeah. But what did they actually say? You know, I mean, you know, you've got a lot of opinions oh, they, on, they, they on Oh, they chanted, you lock her up. Yeah. yeah. They did. Other than yeah. other than they the chance, was there anything substantive? Not particularly. Not particularly. It never is. No. No, they just he just it was a uh, it, it was, was a mini route. It was for show. Yeah. Look how many negroes we can get standing there with exactly. Donald Trump. Exactly. I don't know where I live, but it's, it's yeah. kind of and, well, funny. And, and just to make things even more horrible for these black people, we're going to make them wear these little red hats that say, you yeah, know. Yeah, and I'll sign them after the show. MAGA, you know. Yeah, what the way the signatures were, Trump. Huh? You think Trump's signature's worth a lot of money? I wonder. I should put the I see on eBay if they have a signature. Yeah. Well, it depends. I on had it. a dream that I was uh, in the White House, and he walked. By, I was on a tour, and he walked by me, and uh, everybody went crazy. Ooh, the president! And I just looked at him and turned around and walked away. Wouldn't shake his hand. Ah. <laughs> was that really a dream you had? That was a dream I had yeah. the other night. I'd like to meet him, actually. I have no interest. I had in... the same dream, but it was a nightmare. Go figure. <laughs> Can you imagine if we met him and he's a decent guy? He he wouldn't be a decent guy. No, there's, no, there's nobody that's ever so. reported him being a decent guy. Everybody likes him. No, they you don't. Know, when you meet him. No, Even they don't. Kim, Kim Jong-un. No, they don't, Phil. Stop they they act things. like they like him because if you so, act like you like, you like him, you, you get shit from him. Yeah. That's how you, you by you, he will be anybody's friend who acts nice to him, right? Yep. You know, he he'd be Hitler's best friend if Hitler were nice to him. Yeah, he'd find, he'd the find a reason. Yeah. Rob's planted the idea in my head. I'll probably have a nightmare. It's very similar to his. Only mine will be <laughs> mine will be okay. My my palms are sweating and I've got this in my hand. What can I do with this? What should I do? <laughs> 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 Oh boy! Well, I'm gonna ha we're gonna have the uh, the Secret Service now knocking and then, on my you know, door. Where is where is blood? Is war paint? Come on, yeah. you motherfuckers! Come at me! Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a violent streak in me, so I just I just walk away yeah, from. That's where we part ways, Rob. Unfortunately, yeah. I, I, I would uh, I would spit on him. I wouldn't. I'm just not. That's not my thing. I just would. I would. I I totally in my dream. He came around and everybody was clamoring for him, and and I just walked away. I was like, I'm not, I don't like want this. to even look at him. I'm not even going to give him. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at him to like go, <laughs> wow, he's deals. the president. I I just you know, yeah, not even look at him. Yeah. Well. Anyway, like, so hey, if I had and then pull it back and then wipe it with a wet wipe. Even if I had a chance to to meet Obama, I would have uh, given him, uh, you know, the respect that he deserves as the well, president. Because Obama was a respect. I would have done that with George Bush. I would have done yeah. that with George Bush was, Senior uh, and I Junior. Would too. I would have Hell, done, have that, done with that with any Nixon. president. I would have been thrilled to see any president. This guy, it's it's different. Well, well, because well, I like this. Guy. There's a question. Well, you're 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 really Phil. Come on. Come on. I like this guy. I, well, then, you know, then, I don't care. I have to says, say, I've known you a long time, it. and I never thought you were a moron, but I'm beginning That's to think so. That's the problem with America. When I became a full-fledged le lefty, I didn't have this animus towards George W. So on that, we can agree, Rob. But. Yeah, I, so I, I, th I, th I think I that they had fan, but I respected him. He was well, wait, the president. Wait, wait, wait. Jeff said oh, something. Drunk? Hold I on a second. Jeff, hold, hold, sure hold on. Everybody be quiet. Jeff said something. Go ahead, Jeff. Phil, I, I think they have psychologists in California that maybe you want to start talking to one of them. Uh, yeah. They're all a bunch of liberals. They're I, deranged. I think you I, I, Trump derangement syndrome. I, it's I, nothing I, to do with liberals. specialists here in Pittsburgh. It's, it's say character. It. Character. None. Oh. No character. No. No empathy. No. No anything. No. He's, he, he's almost not human. He's just got to do the job. That's, that's no, all. No, no, no. 
he is the commander in chief and he needs to be able to bring the country together and settle it down it's volatile right now we need a man a strong man who can su- calm people down He's tell him look do your fighting in the ballot box go to the polls if, and vote let me ask let me ask all of you something if he were to apologize today change his uh outlook and say you know we need to we need unification in the country i'm never going to say anything negative about the press again would and and he did that for let's say one month without without flapping back would that change any of your minds if he meant it but I wouldn't. I don't think. Yeah, he, I, I don't think. I, he, I, 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 I don't. I don't think he would himself. do that. I don't think he would do that for a month because yeah. that would be like I would then have to believe Hogwarts exists. Hmm. Well, this, <laughs> you know, I like to see it come out as HR. But you no. Know, but the least but he could have done it. The least if he started to act presidential. I wouldn't. I don't agree with his politics. I didn't agree with George Bush's politics, but I still respected him as the president of the correct. United States. Well, you know why? Because he respected the office he held. Yes, he respected and the he office. He would have to do it. That's the thing. He could say it, but he would have to Donald do it. Donald Trump for doesn't. A, for a length of the, time. Donald, Donald Trump doesn't respect you know the, the president. Is between Trump and Bush. Big Bush. Big. No, I tell you. Uh, Bush was in politics for many, many, many years before he got to, and and, and many elections that he won and lost before he got to the president's uh, office. Trump is like a lottery winner, uh, where he 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 he's there and he didn't pay any political price to get there. So therefore, does he have respect for the office? About as much respect as a lottery winner has for his winning. It's almost like he's waving his nose at them. Like, you so, think so, wait minute, so wait a minute, I, Phil, Phil, that's a good thing? Well, it just so I, happens to be what it is. You know, I, I, I disagree with you because he, 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 was, Phil, he was soulless before he was president. He was a con man before he was president. But, but how do you how do you get the soul of a president? You get it by earning the position all the way. No, up. no, by no, having a, that's just an, who you an, are. By having an internal morality, Phil. Yeah, there that's are who you are. there are a, there are a lot of lottery lottery winners that mm-hmm. didn't fuck up. You know what it is, I think. Yeah, well, and there are a lot of lottery winners that actually made a, a life out of themselves and did well. And two out of three, and two out of three, and many of them started foundations, and many of them started good work yes, with the money. Yes, but there are owned. lottery winners that fucked up. There are uh, sports figures that they're fucked not presidents. Up. Yes, and, but, yeah, but, right. but, but, but Phil, they could Phil, be, we don't judge the not. world by the people who fucked up. We judge the world by the people who do right. Well, I, he's doing right in many ways. You just don't like his message. Oh, if his message, you've all, you've all admitted, you've all admitted that if his message, what, what's his was message? His message, his message is pay attention to me because I'm a petulant child. No, yes, no, Jeff. Jeff, admitted, Jeff. Jeff wants to say the something. Man lies every day. That's all the time. Yeah. This because is they, not the character of a good person. Grab them by the pussy. Show what you call I can do it. whatever I want to do. I can shoot I'm saying, I don't know if this happened. I get away. Tell no. the truth. What was happening in the in the in the in the uh, to, with celebrities and in that industry was that he said I could grab them by the pussy and get away with it because he's celebrity. Now you got guys like Weinstein and all of that. They did the same you thing. Then he, then, I don't want so, Weinstein for president, Phil. You're comparing him to bad people. Yes, you're, you're comparing him to bad people. Messing around the wife, though, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can excuse Trump you're not because getting it. You're not getting it. What, you're what, what are you saying? I can. I. He, what, what basically Phil's saying is he isn't as bad as Weinstein. Yeah. I can because he's entertaining now. What I'm saying is, is that he exposed the yeah. industry for what it was, and uh, you're using you that and turning his words in a way to to try to disparage. Bill, you're making it sound like he was a hero when he exposed something. <laughs> he was bragging. He well, was saying, yeah, "I grab him by the back, go up to him, I kiss him, I can't help it. Yeah, I do it. him, him by the back, oh. do whatever they want." It you make it sound like he he came out and he he exposed. This this terrible thing going on. Come on. 
Phil. Anyway, hey, listen, there's the music. Whew, thank God there's the music. Uh, boy, uh, it just flew We're going to miss tonight. you next week. Huh? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to be gone next week. Where are you going to go, Jeff? I'm going to Cape Verde. Oh, wow. I'm jealous. Green. I'm jealous. Uh, thank you, Brian. Thank Enjoy. you, Phil. Thank you, uh, Kevin. Jeff, we'll see you in a week, I guess, huh? Yeah, maybe I'll sneak in. If you, if you can, you can, you know, keep, if try. you take a computer with you, you can call us. Yeah. No problem. He should not go into Cape Fear. Rob, thank <laughs> you so much yeah. uh, for calling us tonight. And thank you as much, Tony. Uh, I think it would be very nice if everybody who was there on the panel would uh, wave goodbye to the audience. There they go. Isn't that a sweet bunch of people? You didn't think, couldn't think we'd have that much arguing going on between us. Anyway. That's, uh, that's the Citizen Panel. That's the show for tonight. That's the show for this week. We're gone until uh, Tuesday. Uh, in the meantime, there are some other programs that will be here, uh, starting uh, next with uh, Jack Bishop and in the Intersection, and that will be followed at, uh, 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 what's, what's wrong? Oh, uh, midnight tonight <laughs> at, at 1 o'clock this morning by Connections. I'll be back again, uh, well, after... Uh, Damien Chaplin is on on Tuesday at 9.30 at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.